Hello friends, my today's video is regarding the application form, Schengen visa application form, which can be used to get a German visitor visa or any other uh, any other country's visa which fall in the Schengen visa category. Okay, here you have to fix the photo. As I have discussed in the checklist, what type of photo issue should be here and here should be affixed now uh, we are going to fill the form here you have to specify the uh, family name or surname please be aware in mind all these things should be as per your passport if they will not tally it will create the confusion in the mind of the embassy and they will not give you visa they will put an objection on your application okay so be uh, careful um, while uh, while uh, writing this stuff or filling this form here you have to specify the family name okay whatever is written your pa on your passport yeah again here is the name here is your first name if uh, one has uh, no middle name or uh, etc one can write, write like if someone's name is Ram Kumar then Ram will be here and Kumar will be in the family name okay Ram will be in the first name then date of birth place of birth country of birth like place of birth wherever uh, whatever is written on your passport right here Again, date of birth also should be same. Country of birth should be as, as in my case, India. Current nationality, whatever you are having. Then, what type of uh, you, you have to option select here. Male or female. Marital status. Whether you are married or not, you have to say, uh, select as per your requirement. In the case of minors, Surname, first name, address, if different from applicant's nationality of. Uh, this is the block regarding uh, if someone is uh, my, minor, then uh, parents' details is required here. Okay, nationality, ident uh, national identity number. This is basically your passport number you have to specify here. Type of travel document, type of passport you are carrying. Normally, we select this ordinary passport. Okay, if someone has uh, official, then he can select from here or special passport. Okay, then number of travel document. A, a, this is your passport one. Date of issue of passport. Valid until all these things you will get from the your passport issued by home. Here will be the address again from your passport. Telephone number you can specify if there is any requirement, they can call you. Residence in a country other than the country of uh, current nationality. If you fall in this category, then you have to specify the detail. If not, then select just no here. Your current occupation. If you are doing job, you can specify here. Employer's address, your official address should be here, phone number, etc. If one is student, then uh, their school's detail should be here. What is your purpose of visit? You have to specify from these options tourism, official visit, or what, whatsoever. No? Business, what kind of visit you want to As you can select if you are going on a uh, visitor visa etc you can select here tourism here you can select the uh, what kind of entries you need one two multiple multiple of or for how many days okay
there is nothing to worry about uh, filling the form because if there is something uh, required you don't have filled then a uh, vfs person also ca uh, can help you out you you should fill uh, from your end if there is some confusion they will help you out member street of destination what is your destination what will be your first entry because it is schengen visa you can visit multiple countries okay so in case of this where you want to go first and what will be your next one number of entries requested how many times you want to visit the europe you can specify here duration if you are uh, uh, having 15 days of leave you can specify here 15 if you have any visa from last 3 years uh, then you have to specify uh, here you have to click yes and valid form or two uh, through which, which period it is valid otherwise you have to select no whenever you up, uh, give your application for the visa process they, are, uh, they take your fingerprints uh, this is valid for the 5 years Okay, if uh, your fingerprints are taken previously, then you have to specify here yes. This will be in the case of if your 26 point is yes, then you will select in the 27 also yes. Otherwise, in both you can select the no. Entry permit of the country of destination if you have two types of visa. Uh, from two uh, different countries then you can specify it when you want to uh, go to the Schengen area and what is your departure date you have to specify from or to here if someone is inviting for, uh, to you from Europe you have to specify that person's name and address here if not if you if don't you don't fall in this category then you have to specify your hotel's name or a address email address uh, address telephone number all these things if you are going to on business visa or uh, some any kind of, in, uh, company is inviting you then you have to specify the name and address and phone, num the phone number of that company here. Name, name of the company will be here. How will you, uh, how will uh, your expenses will be met? Okay, you have to select here. If you are doing yourself, then you will select this option by the applicant himself what type of mode of uh, payment will be you have to select you can select from here credit card cash whatsoever you want to use if you are uh, you get uh, you have an, any sponsorship you or you have get any invitation letter from your family person in Europe then you have to select this option by sponsor or you are having any invitation from the company then you have to, uh, you have to select uh, sponsor Again, you have to select the uh, means of support. If someone knows you in the Europe, you have to specify the detail of that person here. Means if you are going on the business visa and uh, uh, someone knows you in Europe, then you can fill this detail. and what type of relationship you are having with uh, that person whether it's spouse, child or grandchild whatsoever and or any other you can specify here this is in case you have to uh, date, and, uh, date and time and place where you are filing application and here will signature then you have to write 
these things like your face cannot be refunded if visa is refused at last uh, here you have to put your signature and uh, where you are lodging the application and date okay this was all about the application form, form filling which is not quite difficult as we think okay so thanks for watching my video please subscribe my channel